Typically, when we visit Vidalia, Georgia, we're talking about onions or onion research. Recently, however, we had the opportunity to follow one of the research technicians doing something other than onion research. Usually, Denny Thigpen would be lending his assistance to the testing of the world-famous onion varieties. But recently, he made a unique discovery in the area. I was looking for something that I could do with my granddaughter. So we talked about bees, and she thought she might be interested. She's six, and the first experience, she was not as excited as she was prior to getting them, but uh, after getting them, she, she'd become a little more interested, a little less afraid. Denny has attracted a swarm of thousands of honeybees to these boxes that he's constructed. He said it started in his own backyard before transferring the bees to the research location in Toombs County. This is my swarm trap. There are others with different designs. This is the one that I build and it works for me. Uh, made it out of just rough barn wood. They seem to like it. Um, the optimum size, they say, is 40 liters. Um, so you've got some extra space here. But I just take old frames of old comb and put in there. That's probably the ugliest comb, but that's probably the best attractant there is. Um, it's got some wax moth damage, but the older comb, I guess, has a scent to it that the bees like. When I opened this swarm trap, I saw them go in it. I left them for three days. And when I, that's a temporary housing. You move them to a bigger facility. Uh, these are eight frame hive bodies. And when I put them in there, they just about wouldn't fit. That, that was that large of a swarm. So I went ahead and put a honey super on top. I'm probably going to have to put some more on before long uh, because the swarming instinct, springtime, lots of resources, they're building up a population. If they begin to feel crowded, that's just a signal that, you know, we need to leave. Sometimes there can be a negative perception about honeybees, but Cliff Reiner, who's the area onion agent at the Onion Research Center, believes the two go hand in hand. You know, we hear so much negative in, in agriculture about, uh, you know, people killing bees or just hives being lost. And when we can see something actually garnered and, and protecting them, um, I think that's something that, you know, it's interesting to see. And hopefully uh, this process will keep working and, and bringing them in. Reiner said Thigpen has done an excellent job in introducing the bees to the research area and hopes that hobby continues. Well, I'm just glad he got something, you know, self-rewarding. He's been working hard on trying to uh, do this, and, uh, and and I was glad to see it happen. It's, it's pretty rare. I mean, we, we would get, you know, as a county agent, I used to get calls all the time about swarms, but uh, they would either be uh, settled in on a swarm or by the time you got there, they'd leave. So seeing it actually happened right when it occurred was pretty neat.